A very simple way to find out what note a specific bowl resonates to, what you can do is grab a chromatic tuner or you can even download a chromatic tuner app on your phone. I use this one called Clear Tune and sometimes I also use this one called the Pano Tuner. So depending on which phone you have, you can go to the App Store and type in Chromatic Tuner. I've already typed it in here, so just click on that. And there will be severals that you can use. Now I am not going to download a third Chromatic Tuner. What I already have is this one called a Pano Tuner. Uh, and the other one that I have is a app called Clear Tune. So I will just go ahead and open those. So here it is, uh, the Pano Tuner looks like this. Uh, let me just put it this way so that you can see properly. So once you have downloaded the app, what you want to do is set your calibration. So depending on what sort of music that you want to tune your bowl to, so you can either set the calibration to either 432, 440 or 415. So this is how you do it. Go on the information icon and it says here concert a so go on that one mine is set to 432 so if you want to change that you just go and set it to 440 and done which means okay and let's go back which means that the a note will be a 4 40 hertz calibration the fourth a note will be a 440 calibration now let me just go back to 432 again if you want to set it to 415 so that you can play it along with the baroque music then again same thing And that is done. So, let me show you another app called a Clear Tune. Now, this is slightly more flexible, uh, but it is um, not a free app. So, let me show you that one now. So, again, go to the Play Store or App Store and type in, type in Chromatic Tuner. And this is the other one that I use, Clear Tune. So, I'll just open that. And to set the calibration, it's the same thing. Go to the information here. And show you another function. So in this app, what you can do is you can play a note to see what it actually sounds like. So, so many people come to me and say, do you have a singing bowl for, let's say, 528? Because it's supposed to be the frequency of the love emotion so I say to them um, in a singing bowl or any natural sounding instrument it is very hard to find the exact note if you want to go with the precise uh, exact frequency then you're better off just downloading the sound from the internet but this is another way that you could actually play any sound or any frequency so what you do is you just go to this little function here and right now it is at an A note so which is on a fifth um, scale so if you go to fourth scale then you'll see that it's 432 but let's say I wanted to play a 528 Hertz so what I would simply do is go to information and set my A to 528 okay 
and back again and so so right now it's set to 528 so if I want to play that frequency I'll just press this button here and that's what a 528 Hertz sounds like so if you want to make your own music and you want to input a specific frequency in your music let's say 528 or 432 or any of the other frequencies this is a really good way to actually do that let me switch that off so when people talk about tuning the ball uh, it is a very hard thing to explain to them over the phone because there is no such thing as tuning a ball there is no such thing as tuning a ball there is only two ways you can tune the ball one is by adding a bit of water now this only works in some of the larger ones and you can if you add a bit of water the the sound will change a little bit but not it doesn't go from let's say a C note to an F note what it might do is if it's a little bit off C then uh, if you put water it might come to an exact C and you'll have to see first you'll have to see what note your ball plays so let's say if it plays not exactly A but if it plays around here or if it's around here so not exactly on A but a little bit off uh, and you can put water and you can change the tone to make it exact A so so you can't go from let's say A to G or F by putting water in it but you can do is just change it a little bit so that it, it can be the exact frequency that you want so that is one way the other way is putting the ball on a lathe and turning it and making the wall thin so you can only tune it one way so um, you can only go from a higher frequency to a lower frequency because as the wall of the ball gets thinner the sound will be deeper and deeper and deeper and that's another way but that is not practiced uh, in Nepal at all so if someone says to you that my balls are tuned to either 432 or 440 or whatever what they actually mean is when they bring the ball over to uh, their place for testing the calibration that they use is a 432 so in Nepal the concept of 432 and 440 is not even heard of the people that make the singing bowls don't even know about all this calibration or anything about what the bowls sound like all they know is how to make the bowls they're not musicians they're craftspeople so they're not really uh, educated in this field so they will just make the ball that looks very even the rim is very clean and smooth there's no dimples or dents and that is the best that they can do so when we bring it here we have we bring about three or four hundred balls and we lay them together and we test it and when we test it the calibration that we use is a 432 calibration the same thing would apply to crystal balls when making a crystal ball they've got the specific mold for let's say if it's a 10 inch they've got a certain shape and certain thickness and they just pour the uh, crystals into that mold and they heat it up and depending on the thickness of the wall the ball will sing either a high note or a low note so if it's a very thick wall it will sing a slightly high note and if it's a very thin wall it will sing a very uh, low note that is the reason why in crystal singing bowls you can get the entire range from C to B from a base chakra to the crown chakra in one size you don't have to go to a bigger size or any other size to get the entire note you can get it in the same size and the only difference with those bowls will be the thickness in the wall so let me now test three different bowls to show you what it looks like so I'll just take the um, lock off and I will start 
with the medium pitch bowl. Now this is set to 528 as A, so that's no good. So let me go change that. And go to tuning, so because we are testing it, this is a thing. Whereas the other one is to play that specific sound. I'll take the ball close to the phone. So this one is a B flat note. If you do hear an exact note of a singing ball on the internet or any music, then it might have been changed using a digital software. Sometimes it is possible to find an exact note, but it doesn't happen very often. Let's show you the other one. This is a hand beaten ball, so it will sound slightly deeper. This I would call it a C note and the reason why I have kept this ball for myself is because when I found out about this tuning app which was 12 years ago I didn't know that there was such a thing as 440 and 432 so when I had initially tested this ball 12 years ago I had tested it with a 440 calibration and with a 440 calibration it's almost a perfect pitch it's almost exactly on C note this is the reason why I had kept it now this what I just showed you right now when I have changed it from 432 to 440 Hertz this part is so hard for me to explain to people when they ask about 432 or 440 calibration uh, they just cannot understand that one ball if it's calibrated through a 440 calibration let's say it would show a C sharp whereas if you change it to 432 it will show a, a C note so it's not that you are actually changing the uh, note of the ball altogether it's just that you are changing the calibration and changing the calibration will show you a different result now that you understand that you'll be able to have a really good conversation with people that have some idea about 432 and 440 calibration but they don't have the entire information they think that the balls are actually tuned and you can tell them no actually the balls are not tuned the ball are just measured using a different calibration and going back to the lowest sounding ball eighty six point one Hertz so the frequency is showed right at the top here so you can not only find the note what it's playing it will also tell you the exact frequency right now it is measuring my voice and because my frequency range is changing it's just going from one to the other 